Hello, my name is Yanis Dizoglu and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to apply data validation. Data validation is a very powerful rule that we can actually apply on our worksheet in order to avoid mistakes. In this case, I have a cell that I want a member of staff to actually add a specific number. In this case, a specific number is going to be kilograms. Now, then, the calculation that will take place will be the amount of kilo, the number of kilograms times the cost per kilogram. I've got the correct figure. Now, what if this member of staff accidentally types the letter L after the number 6? Calculation will not take place. Another example is, instead of actually put an L, what if this member of staff put the minus sign before enter? This means that the money, instead of actually charging the customer £12, we're going to have to actually give £12 back to the customer. Now, how can we fix that? We can fix this by going, let's delete this value, by going to the data tab and select data validation. From the data validation window, we're going to select a decimal because in this case, because I would like to include the grams. If you don't want to include the, the decimals, you can actually select a whole number. So in this case, I'm going to select decimal, and I want the data to be greater or equals to zero. Click OK. So if, a if, if the member of staff try to put some uh, text there accidentally, this member of staff will receive this message. If the member of staff try to put minus number, they will receive again the same message. If the member of staff try to put 23.6 kilograms there, the calculation will take place, no problem. So that's how you apply data validation. On the data validation section as well, you have different options. So let's delete this uh, figure here. On the data validation, what we could do, we could actually, instead of decimal, we could select the list. Now the list section first, and then select the data here. Click OK. Here you will be able to see a drop-down list with all the figures. Okay, the figures come from the from this information. So if somebody tried to type, say, for instance, three point five, because the three point five doesn't exist within my list, I will receive this error message. If somebody tries type type some text again I'm going to receive the warning message and if I try to type 5 because 5 again is not existing I'm going to receive the same message and if I type 4 this will be okay that's how you apply data validations using Microsoft Excel thank you for watching